So let's get over to Spotify. Younger Now is our first song. Three, two, one, play. Great, and let's get started today in child's pose. Let's take traditional child's pose. So your knees and your feet are together rather than toes together, knees wide like we typically do. And then you can have your hands alongside so your hands are um, next to your feet. Resting your forehead on the mat. Rock your head a little bit side to side and take a moment here to just remind yourself why you're here, why you're taking this 45 minutes and maybe a motivational mantra that you can come back to throughout class today. I'll invite you to take your hands onto your soles of your feet and pull against your feet. At the same time, curl your head, bringing your forehead closer towards your knees and you have active resistance with those two motions. You should be feeling some stretch through your upper back between the tops of your shoulders and through your neck. Take another deep breath here. Exhale out all the air from your lungs. Inhale, rise up to a tabletop pose. Plant your hands. Spread your knees a little bit wider apart so they're underneath your hip points. Press firmly into your mat. Create space between your shoulder blades. Belly button to spine. Strengthen your core here. Flip your back toes under. Lift your knees off the mat. Hovering tabletop. Deep breath in. Deep breath out and start a pulse. Pulsing knees down, 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 and down. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, down dog into and one press it back to downward facing dog pedal it out here sinking your heels closer to your mat pressing even harder into your mat with your hands bringing your hip points and your butt closer to the sky deep breath in on your exhale come back down to your hovering tabletop push back to downward facing dog hovering tabletop down dog two more just like that Last one, hovering tabletop, hold your down dog. From here, right leg high, three-legged dog, runner's lunge on the right, right foot outside, right hand. Shift your body weight forward and back a little bit, sink a little lower into this really nice stretch. Then inhale back to your three-legged dog, downward facing dog, other side, left leg high, runner's lunge on the left. Take some movement here, sink a little lower. When you're ready, inhale, left leg high, downward facing dog, let's do it again. Right leg goes high, runner's lunge. This time, add an easy twist, opening up right, right arm high. Option, add an arm circle forward, add an arm circle to the back, then return your hand to the mat, three-legged dog, downward facing dog, other side, left leg high, runner's lunge on the left, Open up for your easy twist, left arm high, arm circle forward, reach up, arm circle back, reach up, then plant your hand down, three-legged dog, downward facing dog, last time through, right leg high, runner's lunge on the right, this time straighten and bend your front leg, straighten and bend, any amount straight in that right leg that feels good for you right now, straighten and bend, just four, three, Last two, and one step back to high plank pose. Open up to side plank on the right, right arm high. Stagger your feet, top foot forward, bottom foot back. Now, lift your bottom foot up, up, and up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High plank pose, knee to elbow, alternating sides. Right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow, Right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow. Four more, each side. This is three. Last two. And one. Downward facing dog. Left leg high. Runner's lunge on the left. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one, high plank. Side plank on the left, left arm high. Stagger your feet just like you did before, then pulse the bottom leg up 
and up. Working your inner thighs. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank pose. Stepping to a yogi squat. Right foot outside right hand. Left foot outside left hand. Sink your butt low. Press your elbows into your knees. Chest is proud. Gaze is up. Or straight forward rather. Lift and lower your booty. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Four more. Three more. Last two. Forward fold. Toe heel your feet together just a bit. Hang your head low. Sway your body side to side. Forward and back. Uncurl. Rise up to stand. Let's get some movement in our body in a standing position now. Hop down into your squat. So let's talk about alignment here. Knees behind your toes. Butt goes back and down. Tiny little tuck of your pelvis. One long line from your butt to your head. Then pulse low. We'll start with the pulse. Then we'll move to full range. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, full range in two, and one. Here we go. It's down and up, down and up. You can use the arms here. Each time you come to stand, I want you to think about firing on your glutes, squeezing them so hard. Down, up, down, and up. Four, three, hold low in two, and one. Ground down through your right foot, lift your left knee. One-legged squats, pulsing low, pulsing low. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, full range, in two, and one. Plant your feet, down, up, down and up. Four more, three more. Last two, holding low, plant into your left foot. Right knee comes up, pulsing low. One-legged squat pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full range. Down and up, down and up. Warming up those legs. Four, three, two, hold it low, hold it low. Take your right toes, tap out to the right, back to center, left toes out, back to center, right and left, right and left. Four, three, two, last one, hold low, arms up overhead, just hold for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sweep it up to a stand. Open your legs wide. Turn to face the right. Right foot forward, left foot back. Hinging at the hips, come straight forward into pyramid pose. Hands can fall on the floor, on your ankle, on your calf. Maybe a little bend in your back leg here. Feel a nice stretch underneath the right side of your, excuse me, under your right leg. From there, I want you to launch into a baby standing split. So hands are on the ground, your back leg, your left leg is lifted in the air any amount. From there, bend and straighten into your right leg. Down and up, down and up. On my cue, the next move from here will be coming to stand, sweeping your left leg through center and bringing your left knee up to your chest in four, Three, two, and one. Come to stand. Left knee comes up. Pulse to your left knee. Up and up. Higher. Higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep through a wide forward fold. Come to pyramid on the other side. Left foot forward. Right foot back. Remember that option. A little bend in the back knee maybe. Feel a really good stretch underneath your left leg. One more deep inhale. On your exhale, launch to a baby half, baby splits. Standing splits. One-legged squat. Down and up into your left leg. From here, our next move is standing up. This time, bringing our right knee up high. Down and up. Four, three, two. Last one. Come to stand. Bring your right knee up. Pulse it up. Up and up. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, 
Three, two, come through center, wide forward fold. Sweep low, come up to pyramid on the right. Same thing, hinge at the hips. Bring your hands down, launch forward to your half splits. Squat into your standing leg, down, up, down and up. Four, three, hold in two, and one. Now capture your balance, turn your back knee under, Square your hips, rise up into airplane pose, arms long and strong behind you. Bend and straighten your back leg, hamstring curl. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. You've got it, four, three, two, hold your airplane right here. Now squat into your right leg, hold your airplane, one-legged squat in airplane pose, four, three, Two, come to stand, carry your left knee to the front. Now, straighten and bend, hinging at the knee. Straighten, bend, straighten and bend. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, hold it straight, pulse it up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Through your wide forward fold in center, all the way over to the other side. Starting in your pyramid pose, launching into your half splits. Bend and straighten into your standing leg. Down and up. Four more, three more. Hold here in two and one. Rise up to your airplane pose. Left foot grounded, right leg long and strong behind you. Arms following after your back leg. Square your hips. Right knee faces down to your mat, hamstring curl. Bend and extend your back leg. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one leg and squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right knee up, come to stand, right knee up. Straighten and bend, straighten, bend, straighten and bend. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold it straight in three. Last two, you've got it. One, hold it straight, pulse it up. Up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End in that wide forward fold. This time just get a little stretch here. You can keep it at center, take it side to side. And as you're ready, grab a quick sip of water, come up to stand, grab your chair. All right. So, chair, uh, let's see, where do we want the chair? Let's put the chair on the right side of our space. And we'll start with um, our right toes up on the chair. So we're coming into, I think it's called a, Bulgarian lunge, yeah, left foot forward, right foot up on the chair. So it's like a split lunge, but with your back leg up on the chair, your back knee doesn't come nearly as close to the mat as it would in a typical split lunge. So in a lunge, I want your hips square to your front toes, firing on your back glute, down and up. Four, three, last two, and one. Next move, little bend in our, in our standing leg. Flip your back toes under, lift your back toes up, off the chair. So you got a strong bend in your standing leg, little hinge at the hips for balance. Lifting, lifting, hovering your foot off the chair, even on the way down for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Open it up to the side. Open up your hips. Same deal. Lift and lower. Up, 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 and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee to elbow. In and out. Crunch it in. Extend it long. In and out. You can take it faster or make it slow. You pick eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to those lateral lifts. 
up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Square your hips. Lift, lift. Lifting your legs straight up and back. Up, up, up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bulgarian lunges. Back to where we started. You might need to toe heel your foot forward just a bit. Down and up. Four, three, last two. This is it. Other side. This time our left foot comes up onto the chair. Hop right into those Bulgarian lunges. So as you come down into your lunge, make sure your right knee is staying behind your right toes. Remember your breath, come back to your breath here. Down and up, four more, three more, last two, and one. Hinge forward a little bit, bring your torso forward. Back toes up off the chair, lift and lower, lift and lower, hips are square. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open your hips up to the side, lateral leg lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee to elbow. Start slow. If your balance feels really good here and you want to take it faster, it's here. In, out, in, out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to our lateral leg lifts. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Square your hips. Turn away from your chair. Lift and lower your back leg. Fire on your left butt cheek. Lift, lift. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back toes on the chair. Bulgarian lunge. Make it hop a little step forward. Give yourself a little more space. Down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, last two, and one. Come on up to stand, popcorn. Shake out your legs, grab another sip of water if you'd like. We're moving into triceps at the chair. So keep your chair where it's at. So come to sit on the chair. Your hands are on the chair with your fingers curling forward around the seat of the chair. Then bring yourself forward, butt hovering in front of the chair. From there, down and up, your elbows come straight behind your body. They stop at a 90 degree bend. When you come out, avoid locking out your elbows. Keep a tiny little soft bend in your elbows, even at the top here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold low, hover. So you've got your 90 degree bend in your elbows, pulsing, pulse, and pulse. Avoid making it a bounce. Maybe take it a little slower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full range. Up and down, up and down. If you want, up and down, up and down, little faster. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold it low, pulse it down, 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 and down. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, you're done. Feet on the chair, hands on the ground, decline plank. So your toes are up on the chair, your arms are supporting you, hands on the mat from here. Right knee to right elbow, oh, left knee to left elbow. We did this in our warm up in a normal high plank. Now we're adding the decline element to it. A little more work in the arms. Right and left. Four more each side. We're on three. Last two. And one. 
This is it. Come on down. You're on your knees on your mat. Turn to face your chair. Plank with arms on the chair. So up on your toes, hands on your chair, mountain climbers. Knees come into the chest. Woo! Little tiny cardio burst here. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push ups down, up, down, up, down, and up. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, come on up. All right. So, let's see. Yeah, actually, sorry. Keep that chair. I'm going to do chair glutes. So, stay with your hands on the chair. A little bit of a forward lean here. Just like if we were doing tabletop and we were doing glutes like this. Same idea, but we're hands on the chair instead, okay? So start weighting your left knee, cover your right knee off the mat, flex your right foot. Now lift and lower, lift, lower, lift and lower. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it high, pulse it up, 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 and up, four, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down. Fire hydrant straight out to the side. Lifting up, down. Flex your right foot. Up, 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 and up. You've got it. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, hold it high in two. Hold high and pulse up here. Pulse it up. Higher, even higher. You can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side. Ground into your right knee. Left knee up and down. Straight to the back. Foot is flexed. Up, down, up, and down. Four, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold high and pulse. Pulse it up. Up, up, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop it down. Fire hydrant. Lift your knees straight out to the side. Lift, lower, lift, lower, up. Down. Don't forget about flexing your foot. Up, down, up, and down. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up this time. Pulse it as high as you can go. Make it small and controlled. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Grab a hamstring stretch, foot on the hair, excuse me, foot on the chair, bend over your leg. A little bit of a stretch here. I know we were working our glutes just now and not so much our hamstrings, but it's a great way to use the chair. So let's do it. And then we'll move our chair out of the way. Clear your mat, weights, water, everything off your mat. We've got a little set of cardio here. So start with a little jog in place whatever that looks like for you. And watch me, I'll demo each move. The first move is one, two, three hops forward, one, two, three hops back. Or you can do, actually it should be four hops each way. So as you're hopping, you can do a reach and pull, and then a push. All right, next move is a squat in a 90 degree turn all the way around into a circle. So you touch the floor, you jump with a turn 90 degrees. Squat jump turning 90 degrees. You can then switch the direction of your circle next time you go around. Last one, jumping jacks with big arm circles. All right, are you ready? We're starting with our four jumps forward, four jumps back. Let's go. Hop, 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 four. Remember you can add 
Maybe you want to do punches, pushes, pulls, whatever you want to do as you're moving across your mat. We are more than halfway there with this little set. You got it. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Squat low, turn 90 degrees. Squat low, turn 90 degrees. As you land, soft bend in your knees. Landing low in your squat. Remember, you can switch directions. Try not to get too dizzy doing this one. You got it. Make it count, you guys. We have two little cardio sets today. They're both pretty short. You can do it. Switch to those jumping jacks. Big arm circles with your jumping jacks. Yeah. Switch directions with your arms. All right, we got a power move coming up. Last thing, I didn't demo it for you, but you'll know it. It's a burpee with mountain climbers at the bottom. We move in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. I want everyone to do four reps of these. You should have about two left. All right, wherever you are, finish up your last one. Come on up, grab some water. And then optionally grab your weights if you want them for bicep curls. And we'll start here with some calf raises, feet parallel, bicep curls, up, down, onto your high heels, and flat feet or else feet just hovering, heels hovering off the mat on your way down. Your hands come up to your shoulders and down to your thighs in your bicep curl. Keep your biceps pinned into your sides. Avoid swinging your hands. Don't let your hands come behind your legs. Keep them, keep them right at the front of your thighs. Let's take four more, three more. Last two, hold high. Hands at midpoint, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulsing up in your hands or your arms, up in your toes, calves, up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to full range, down, up, down, and up. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, Two, one. Open up your feet to first position. Hammer curls this time. Up, down, up, down. So heels together, toes out in first position. Hammer curls, we're just rotating our palms to face one another. Keeping with that same range of motion that you had in the bicep curl. Up, down, up and down. Four, three, hold high in two. Last one, hold high, pulse up, up, up. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Who's ready to get off those toes? Come down into a little squat here. Bicep curls. It's kind of a baby bicep curl, like half range of motion, and a little pulse into your squat. Four, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, take it full range. Down, up. Four, three, two, hover it low, baby bicep curl. Pulse into your squat for four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide what to do next because my playlist is uh, a little bit messed up, not what I expected. Let's do abs and then we'll come back up. So, 
Legs up the wall. Starting reaching for your toes. Up and up, 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 up and up. Reach, reach, reach and reach. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Reach. I want you to keep your shoulders off the mat the whole time if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your forearms down to the mat. Relax your head. Toes are pointed. Fire around all the muscles in your legs. Legs go down. Two, three, four. Find a point to hover them. At your hovering point, you should be able to keep your back flat to the mat or at neutral, the same position relative to the mat that it was where you started at the top. From here, go back up. Two, three, four to the 90 degree bend between your thighs and your torso. Let's go down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Take it down. Two, three, four. Take it up. Two, three, four. Two count down and down, up, and up, down, and down, up, and up, down, down, up, up, down, and down, up, up. One count down, one count up, down, up, down, maybe a lower or a smaller range of motion with the single count, faster movement. For four, three, two, and one. Hold legs up the wall. From there, bend at your knees. Bring your knees as close as you can to your forehead, lifting your butt off the mat. Then roll back down, coming with your toes just barely hovering off the mat. We'll call this a reverse crunch. Keep moving, knees to forehead, hovering toes. Knees to forehead, hovering toes. Let's take eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, last two, and one. Up to boat pose. So in boat, you can have your knees bent, hands behind your thighs. You can have legs straight, arms out to the side. You can have toes tapped onto the floor with a light, light, light amount of pressure in your toes. From here, pulse your arms straight down. Your palms are facing the ground. Your arms are straight. Pulse it down, 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 and down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flip palms to face up. Pulse your hands up, 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 up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now in, palms face your legs. In and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Palms face out, 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 and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees are in, knees are out. It's a tuck. It's a tuck. If you're keeping your toes on the mat, you can lift one knee at a time or both knees together. Otherwise, you're taking a larger range of motion. Knees in and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to lay on your mat, hands behind your head, face the crunches. Up and down, up and up. Your gaze is at the ceiling. Maybe place one hand on your abs to feel them engage each time you come up. You're reaching your nose closer to the ceiling, keeping your neck long. Imagine there's a ball between your chin and your chest, keeping space there. It's up, 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 and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to the right. Up, 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 and up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hold high and two. Hold it up. Pulse it higher, higher, higher. Four, eight, 
seven. You can do this. Four, three, two, and one. Come down up to the left side, down and up, full range, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold high in two, and one. Close it up, 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 up to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make it a bicycle twist. You got it, side to side, fast or slow, no matter what. Make sure you're in control. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, this is it, three, just two, and one. Long body stretch. That was a long set of abs, you guys. You made it through. You did great. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then come on up. Roll up to stand. All right, guys, I need you to put on your game face and get ready for cardio, even if the music is slow and kind of sucky for cardio. I'm sorry about that. We're gonna start with a lateral lunge. So move over to the left side of your mat. Lateral lunge to the right side. Jump with your left knee up. So we did this at the beginning of class. We practiced standing on one leg with the knee up. It's gonna be a jump up, then back to the other side. Knee up, okay? Maybe your mat is a little slippery, like mine is from laying down there with sweat. You can flip it over real quick. You got it. Lateral lunge, excuse me, lateral bound. And then a knee drive with a hop. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, last two, and one. Butt kicks with a wide stance. Hop in between. You're bringing your arms across your body or overhead. You pick. From here, our next move is left lunge jumps, where we start with right leg forward. And we jump to a switch, ending with our left leg forward. You'll know what I'm talking about. Let me see it. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg forward, left leg back. You can pulse a couple times and switch. So you decide if you want to pulse four times in between. If you want to just march it out this far into class, maybe a march feels best for you. Choose what you want. Wherever you're at, we're here for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks. Kick your butt. Normal run here. Rather than the wind leg stance, you can jog your arms. You can do arms, full post overhead, and then forearms together. Arms three ways. You decide. Whew. We got five minutes less than class. You're just cooling down after this. You can do it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Lateral lunges side to side. Keep your chest up. Make it slow. Catch your breath. Nice and easy. Four, three, two. Hold to the right. Pulse low. Right here. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, alternating sides. Left, right, left, right. Four, three, two, holding left, pulsing to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, goddess pose, heels in, toes out to the long edge corners of your mat, sink your butt low, knees over your ankles, tuck your pelvis under, long torso, hands on your thighs, shoulder dips, stretch out your inner thighs, stretch through your shoulders, then snow angel your arms, down and up, big deep breaths, just two more right here, last one, come to sit, sit, sit on your mat, one leg bent in, other leg straight out at a V, stretch overhead, you can get a side body stretch, and then turn to face your outstretched leg, it changes the stretch, when you pivot your torso, puts it in your hamstring more than your inner thigh. Another deep breath in and out, rise up, swap out your legs, bend the other one, straighten the other one. Start with your overhead stretch, stretching your side body and your inner thigh. And when you've had enough there, pivot your torso, Turn to face your outstretched leg. Grab onto your calf or your ankle or your foot. Pull yourself a little bit lower. Keeping length in your torso. When you're ready, sweep up overhead. Make your way into a downward facing dog. Paddle it out here. Notice how it feels much different now than it did in the first five minutes of class. Bring your right leg high. Half pigeon pose on the right. Your right knee lands behind your right wrist, flexing your right foot, aiming to bring your right shin in line with the top of your mat, parallel to the top of your mat. Keeping your back long, lower your upper body closer and closer to the mat, deepening the stretch through your outer hip, through your glute, deep breaths in and out. Maybe you're really flexible and you're resting your head on the floor or maybe on top of stacked forearms. Melt into it. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, come up to both hands. Step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out once more. Bring your left leg high. Half pigeon, other side. Remember those same setup cues, left knee behind left wrist. Flex your left foot to protect your knee. Bring your left shin parallel with the top of your mat. Rest your back toes under. Lower your upper body closer to the mat. Find a place to rest. And when you're ready, inhale, rise up, both palms on the floor, push back to your downward facing dog. Walk your hands in, or excuse me, walk your feet in between your hands, come down to a seat and roll all the way down to your back. Relax into a final Shavasana. Take an inventory from your toes to the top of your head. Relax each muscle group along the way. Feel your belly rise and fall. Take a moment here to thank yourself for carving out this time to do something so good for your body and for your mind. It is 1245. If you are ready to move on with your day, Roll on to one side, gently push yourself up to a comfortable seat. Hands to heart center, let your eyelids be heavy. Thank you for trusting me to guide you through this practice and, through, and for bringing your energy to class today. I wish you peace and happiness and health, and I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon, a great rest of your week, and a great time continuing to enjoy burn classes Wednesdays at noon with Holly this fall and the rest of the year. Thank you guys.
Thanks for everything, Anna. You bet. Thank you so much.